From FX Empire, this is Chris taking a look at the silver market. Silver has initially pulled back just a bit during the trading session on Friday, but then turned around to show signs of life again. At this point, it looks like the market is bouncing from the $22.50 level, which I think extends support all the way down to the $22 level. Now that we have bounced um, the way we have over the last couple of sessions, I do think that it would make a lot of sense for silver to go looking toward the 200-day EMA above, somewhere near the $23.20 level. Anything above there then opens up a much bigger move, perhaps all the way to $24.50. When I look at the longer-term chart of silver, it's easy to make out an argument that $26 is the resistance barrier on the top from the longer-term perspective, while $22 underneath is massive support. As we are closer to the massive support, it does make a certain amount of sense that there continue to be value hunters in this market. Keep in mind that silver is heavily influenced by the 10-year yield in the United States. So if that yield starts to rise, that makes precious metals less attractive. But silver is also an industrial metal. So keep that in mind as well. Industrial demand, think green technologies, but there are others that silver is highly prized and also has a big influence on what happens next. For what it's worth, Platinum looks like it's a very strong market bouncing from low levels as well. So silver and platinum, of course, do tend to move somewhat in tandem. Uh, yet another reason to think that maybe silver has a shot at rising here. At the very least, I would anticipate that silver should go looking toward the 200-day EMA, possibly even the 50-day EMA in the short term. Keep in mind, though, that silver is a very volatile contract, and as a result, you have to keep your position size relatively uh, reasonable due to the fact that you can get whipped around pretty drastically.